Kim. Night Kim here. Um, Martin here. Rob, this is uh, my pedal board, which is uh, mostly boss. I go with a tuner, which I pretty much use as a mute, and goes into a compressor, which I have pretty slamming pretty hard. Octave's running the whole time. Delay settings are set for each individual song separately. So this is the only one that I'm really changing in the set is the verb and the delay. Some songs have verbs, some songs don't. Then this goes through the chain up to the first chorus. It's three choruses total. Um, noise suppressors here in the chain. It's kind of dealer's choice on that. I like it before the reverb so it doesn't cut the tail. It's a pretty noisy chain because I use a one spot. And it goes into, uh, goes into a reverb for about half the set. And then this is my favorite kind of thing that splits its stereo. Um, goes here first, which is a clon, and it gives a little bit of grit to it. It's fairly clean without this. It's actually about half the signal. And then it goes in here and splits its stereo. And this chorus ensemble is sort of like really the main tone. And fires out half DI, which goes to pass. And then half, the other half of the DI goes to um, goes to JC120, which has a third chorus on it. So it's like half of it you're getting the first two choruses, and then half of it you're getting a third chorus on top, and I only mic one of the speakers, even though it's a true natural chorus. Um, so it doesn't really get the full third one, but you know, uh, gets enough of it that feels, you know, enough, uh, enough of a thing in, in the house. I think that like the DI signal creates a little bit of separation between the two guitars on stage because we're using the same amp. If I was using a Fender amp for a, for a long time, and um, I got a second one of these because I saw Kieran playing it and I was really into it and um, I started playing with it. It's just like kind of, I like the natural chorus on it. I think, it's, I, I think the chorus that's built in the amp is probably the best there is. And, um, I just like it that clean, you know, it's like classic kind of sounding. It's like a, you know, it feels like a DI, like an alternate to a DI, and it just gives you really good stage volume without adding too much like tube tone on it. It's more about it cutting and feeling a little bit more present. I'm going with this, the 60s reissue jazz um, Fender has, and I uh, have three of them. Basically, uh, I go on the um, neck pickup here. Uh, He's crazy. This is taped and this is taped so it stays there. Tone and, uh, and volume kind of cranked. A little bit punk rock version of that, but I just like it staying there because I want to focus on the songs and singing. So like the less I'm focused on playing guitar, the better for me, which is why I keep the choruses on. I'm in open tuning, so um, I basically change the key. I don't really know, really keys, I know places on the, on the guitar. So I'm, I'm in open C sharp, which is basically you know, uh, it's like people, it's like dad gad, but dad fad, uh, you know, with an F sharp. And um, I take, I capo for the key. So like, basically I'm tuning like this, tuning like that in between songs, and then I'll flip to here, you know, there's a couple songs that have key changes, and I do it like, really like, a little bit crude by just doing that right on, you know, like right on, on we're doing a Michael Jackson cover on this tour. And, you know, it's like, it's just half step, chink, you know what I mean? A song called Back in the Man has two key changes and it, just crank it right up. And, um, and yeah, so that one's in open C. Um, I use it for two songs, the white one, and then the other one's a backup. And then this one, I pretty much use the whole set. I just like how it plays, I like how it feels. I keep the same strings on. So these have been on for six months. Um, I am not one of the guitar players that like to have fresh, that brightness. I like it a little more kind of dull and studio-y, like, almost like how, I mean, it's part laziness and part like, I just, these ones are really in tune for me, you know, they stay in tune the whole set. And it's like, when, it takes me like a couple shows for new strings to do that. And um, I just really like how these are feeling, so, I go I go pretty, pretty heavy, because I'm like tuned open, I go, uh, I think they're like 11, uh, what is it, heavy, he this slinky top, heavy bottom? I think it's that, like, the. The yellow pack, you know, the 11s to, I think it might be 54 or something like that, I don't know. Whatever I got, but there are any balls, and um, and yeah, I'm using the Dunlop picks to just to... 11 super 11 50, 11 52 is what it is? Yeah. Yeah, I use these, uh, tor the, yeah, the Tortex, super thin. I like to keep it thin. I keep a couple in my pocket here, and a couple, I used to have like a big thing with the sharp picks, and... I don't know, I think it's part of the sound to have the pick really wash against it. Like, I, I don't really like a heavy pick as a rhythm player. You know, I'm just, uh, 
I'm not playing really any leads. It's just rhythm. So like, it's part, kind of part of this pick's kind of part of the sound. I think. Uh, I think the sound's compromised a bit when it's a heavier pick um, for rhythm parts, specifically like the clean ones. You know, where I'm strumming the whole thing through. Almost want it to sound like a piano or something like that. Like a bed. You know, um, or mirror kind of what an acoustic guitar would do. You know. We got all Sennheiser packs on our ears and stuff like that, and uh, bring the Sennheiser mics out. I prefer how this sounds in my ears, really. I don't, you know, I think it sounds okay in the house. I think the EQ is a little bit sculpt, you know, sculpted to pull some, uh, you know, some nose out. But um, I like how it sounds in my ears because it cuts it. I, you know, I can take my vocal really compressed and really hot in my ears so I can hear the spit. Um, it just helps me sing quieter, really, because I'll push to try to match the level of the mix. And um, I save my voice with this, uh, with the Sennheiser, I, I just prefer it. Rick is coming out this summer, check out thenightgame.com. Instagram's the, probably the best way at the night game. At the night game across all the platforms and uh, yeah, give it a look. Listen on Spotify, check it out.